Day 2 of the first test of Ashes 2023 is over, with some good batting performances and great bowling spells by the English bowlers. At the start of the day too, a few things were quite expected, like David Warner getting out on Stuart Broad's delivery, which eventually happened. But who would have thought that on the very second ball, the ICC number one ranked test batter Marnus Labushin will also go back on a golden duck? Well, it was the first time when Labushin got out on a golden duck. But it was also quite planned by Stuart Broad as he used a single weapon against him and it worked. But do you know what the weapon was? An outswinger. Broad had prepared for Labushin's wicket a few months back itself. Let's rewind a bit and understand the special outswinger which he had developed only for Labushin and Steve Smith. Broad came up with this special delivery while working with Nottinghamshire's assistant coach Kevin Shine, who was previously the ECB's lead fast bowling coach. Broad tested this delivery out in the county championship and warned Australia about his new variation in April itself. Broad stated, It was designed to be honest for Marnus and Smith. It's the reason I wanted to change something to try and bring their outside edge in more. My stock delivery will always be wobble seam trying to nip back off stump because I think that's the most dangerous ball. But to those guys, I think dragging them across with a waist swing is important. Broad then further said, This action tweak is pretty much designed at those two. And it was good to see it really swinging away today. And it was the outswinger which ultimately dismissed Labu Shain for a golden duck with the ball moving away and catching the edge. Well, this clearly showcases how England were preparing for the Ashes and how Broad's plan worked out when it was actually needed. Now, on one hand, it was a stunning plan by Broad, but how can we miss out Johnny Bairstow's sensational one-handed catch? Bairstow's comeback after the leg break has been really impressive. After Warner's wicket, it was expected from Labushain to get some runs on board, but who could have thought the world's best test batter would struggle on the very first delivery of Stuart Broad? It was quite explicit that Labushain had no strategy and idea to tackle Broad's well-thought plan, but what will be interesting now would be to see how the finest test batter will play in the rest of the series of Ashes 2023. For more updates, you stay tuned to Cricket Next.